Okay, backhand loop against underspin. Yeah, you, if, if you start to use your body, the backhand loop becomes different. different. Uh -huh. um, okay. So, first thing is this. Um, from here, the way you should think about is how to use the body, right? Okay. Uh -huh. So even behind the ball may not work, depending on how you swing. But if your backhand swing is relying more on the rotation, it's coming here. Here, you see I'm a little bit centered. Center and all I need to do is body. Okay, backhand loop against underspin. But as you put more spin, and if the ball is becoming higher, there are a uh, few consequences, right? One, uh, maybe your chance of hitting the net decreases, yeah. but the chance of going out oh, may time. increase. Yeah. And on the, on the other side, it's easier for them to actually defend when it's higher right. than lower. Uh -huh. And maybe they can even counter that. So not too high. The ideal height when the ball passes the net is think about the, the, here's the, the uh, height, right? right. And then think about just double, another uh, yeah double height. Then if your ball passes around here, uh, it's pretty safe. Uh -huh. uh, there's very less chance for you to hit the net because there's there's a lot of room to um, to be safe. But if it's higher than this, like here, these loops are not good. They're gonna definitely. Yeah. I feel like I'm still more hitting. No, 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 no. You're not hitting. You're not hitting the ball. You do spin the ball. But your backhand of this very common way that uh, players use, uh, which is, you can loop, but you only use the arm and the, the, the arm okay. motion to flick it, okay. uh, which is not bad, but... It's still need to use the body more. Yeah, you, it, it, if you start to use your body, the backhand will become different. Okay. Uh, so, first thing is this. Um, from here, the way you should think about is how to use the body, right? And I already explained before, yeah, but like keep the left shoulder here, right? Mm -hmm. Don't turn this part. Mm -hmm. That breaks everything. See, when I turn this, it, it changes whole, all, all, all of my body, and then it puts more of rotation here, which is adding the speed, but hard to control. So you don't need to add too much of rotation here, but you do need to come up here with the elbow to have space, to have space behind the arm. Then, think about like you're almost doing like a 90 degree or a little bit more, and then don't squeeze more, because you, you're not gonna use this a lot, but more this. And then you bend down the body, and then think about your, there is something like a carrot, or something that you're trying to pull it out. Yeah, and what would you use is, I, it's like this is like a hook 
on that object yeah. and you're trying to lift and then of course you, you want to use your legs and your yeah upper body to pull it up like that it's like a lifting a kettlebell uh -huh. so that's that's the first motion and then when you pull it you will tighten your core and your legs at the time <coughs> Yeah. First is this part. So you you just relax and go down and wait for the ball. Relax. Body squeeze. Now. You lower the head down oh. Oh, because you're trying to, you need to start when the head is down so you can use the rotation if the head is already up then probably you're, you're doing, doing this right? which is slow yeah. uh -huh. head down. You're waiting to swing from here, and when, when you think, oh, this is the moment that I need to swing, then you use here. Yeah, so the condition is how, how fast or how early you get there, and how precise is that? Was that like uh, right position to wait? These two deter will determine whether your, your backhand loop will succeed or not. Wait, this one, your arm is going too early. Uh, wait for the body. Body. Body, body. One end. Body. Yeah. One, body. One, body. One, body. One, body. One, body. One, body. Here's another tip. Okay. Uh, in general, what we are trying to think is this. We are trying to pivot on the elbow and use the rotation. And when you rotate your whole arm like that, you're using the shoulder muscle, right? right. But the shoulder is a little bit limited to rotate like that. Therefore, you can add this rotation from your body by bending it down and then when you go up, you see already you're adding this much body movement and it's adding to that and just you're rotating your shoulder at the contact to give higher speed because it's all about speed at the contact. Okay, so the foundation is the body movement and to accelerate at that point, you use shoulder to play. So what I wanted to say was, if we are pivoting on the elbow and then using the rotation to accelerate at a higher speed, think about where you would put the pedal. If the ball is coming here, if I put my elbow like this and my pedal starts from here, you see to hit the ball, it's a this angle. So it's very hard for me to actually play forward. Which makes me to shift the elbow somehow to catch the ball, right? right? So uh, the better way to approach in the beginning is actually the opposite way because if this is the pivoting point, my pedal actually need to start on the right side. So therefore, when I rotate, I hit the ball. Actually here, so it's okay. Uh. So even behind the ball may not work depending on how you swing. But if your backhand swing is relying more on the rotation, 
It's coming here.